Hello friends, welcome to Zeno's Giant Circle Time. My name is Mr. Pablo and I'll be taking a long measuring journey this time. And the first thing we're gonna do is, now that you see that we're here up in the deep blue sea, we're gonna be singing a song about it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, come take a dive with me. We'll see a swimming fish, we'll see a swimming fish, we'll see a swimming fish, come take a dive with me. Down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, we'll see an octopus. Down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, we'll see a great big whale. Down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, we'll see a baby shark. Down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, we'll see a yellow fish. Down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, down in the deep blue sea, we'll see a starfish. Yeah. Thank you so much for seeing with me, friends. So, oh, the deep blue sea is so deep, friends. I am looking for Miss Gladys, who has some more measuring to share with you. Will you help me find her? Gladys. Gladys. Hey, Mr. Pablo. Hey, friends. There's so much to explore in the deep blue sea. There are large things, and there are small things. There are long things, and there are short things. So let's jump into our book together called The Rainbow Fish to explore and measure and mathematize. Our Circle Time Story. Today we'll be reading The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. Maybe some of you all have read this before. The rainbow fish was the most beautiful fish in the sea, but he never played with the other fish. I'm too beautiful, he thought. Whoa. Once, a little blue fish asked for one of his shining scales, but the rainbow fish just laughed. Never, he said. After that, the other fish swam away from him. The rainbow fish was all alone. He went to the starfish for help. Why doesn't anybody like me? He asked. Go ask the octopus, said the starfish. She is very wise. The octopus said, give away your shining scales. You won't be as beautiful, but you will have friends. I can't do that, cried the rainbow fish. I also see these tentacles, these long tentacles on the octopus. Suddenly, the little blue fish was back. Please, he said, could I have just one scale? Well, the rainbow fish thought, maybe just one tiny little scale. The blue fish was so pleased, it made the rainbow fish feel happy. Soon, all the fish came and the rainbow fish gave away his scales. One by one, finally he had one shining scale left. But now, as he swam off to play with his friends, he was the happiest fish in the sea. The end. Now friends, remember, we're, do we're talking all about measurement. So I want to talk about some measurement that we saw in our book that you might have read before. Here I see a Fin that has a long side and two short sides makes it a triangle. We're also talking about the length of the fin. Hmm, what else can we measure? I see there are there are different shapes of fish, different types of fish, different lengths of fish. So maybe we can use some Unifix cubes or something that we have at home to measure how many cubes long or how long these fish are using materials we have at home. 
here I have this dinosaur. So I see that this fish is one dinosaur long. I see that this fish is less than a dinosaur long. So maybe we have some smaller materials to measure our different fish. Hmm. Here I notice some things we can count, maybe not measure, but I wanna know how many leaves we see on this seaweed. So here we have oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get a close up so you all can see. So as you flip through the pages, you can practice more math and you can practice different measurement skills. Well, friends, thank you so much for mathematizing the rainbow fish with me. Now, I think I see somebody else who would love to measure with you all. Oh, Mr. Jamel, look at all those legs. How many legs do you think he has, friends? Oh, hi, my friends. It's Mr. Jamel. Oh my goodness, thank you, Miss Gladys. It's so deep under the sea. Oh my goodness, and dark. Oh, oh my friends, okay, I am going to play a game with you. And this game is about metal. Oh my friends, let's dive a little deeper into the sea so we can play. Oh. Do you see my amazing game? called Measure Me? Oh, let's play! Okay, oh my friends, let's play. Oh, oh my goodness. We have all of our creatures, all of our creatures that we are going to put together and measure with. Are you ready, my friends? I'm so excited! Okay, my friends, what we're gonna do, oh, we have our graph that we're gonna measure with. And then we have again all of our creatures. And then we have what we are going to use to measure with. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do some estimating. We are going to determine how long something is, how short something is. We are going to do some measuring. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, my friends, first, we are going to look at our directions for our game. Oh my goodness, we have so many directions for our game. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do some exploring. We're gonna take some time to look at our pieces to see how long they are and make some. So let's see, let's make some creature pieces. Look, I love this first creature. Oh my goodness. Okay, my friends, we're gonna make a creature that looks like this. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Isn't that a cool, cool creature? Oh my goodness, this creature is amazing and it is so long. If I get my cubes, I think this creature might be, if I'm going to like guess or estimate, the creature is probably like eight cubes long. <laughs> I think this creature is like eight cubes long. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This picture is ten cubes long. Oh my goodness, Mr. Jermel's estimate was a little wrong. <laughs> it was like two off. Okay, so this is 10 creatures long. Now let's see. I wanna make a creature that is either taller, shorter, or equal to the length of this creature. Oh my goodness, we're gonna see how tall we can make, or short we can make our creature. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. It says we have to make a creature that is equal. <gasps> equal, that means the same length as this creature. Let's try it. Oh, my friends, I'm going to say this like this, maybe this like this, and then maybe. <gasps> oh, my goodness, my friend! This creature is equal to this creature. 
<laughs> and if this creature was 10 of our cubes long, then how many cubes long would this creature be? Oh my goodness. Thank you, my friends, for the help. How many cubes long would this creature be? If this is the same as this one, this would be 10 cubes long too! I am so excited, my friends. And do you know that you can measure so many different things? You can measure how long your arms are. You can measure how long your feet are. You can measure all sorts of things. I love measuring and I love my Xeno measuring game. Now my friends, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad because now Mr. Jamel has to go. I know, I know, I know. Mr. Jamel and Miss Gladys and Mr. Pablo, we've got to go swim in the deep blue sea. But before we go, I want to sing a little song. It goes a little bit like this. Some of you all may know it. Goodbye, so long to you, my friends. Adios, hasta luego, a mis amigos. Goodbye. For now, until we meet again. Adios, por ahora, hasta la próxima vez. Goodbye, for now, until we meet again.